Hello everyone, uh, this is um, just a short presentation about um, the bishop score and how easy it is to remember, just in case uh, we got lost in the longer presentation. Yeah, so we know the bishop score is a score that is used to predict a success in the induction of labor, but we also know that it has other subsidiary uses as well, which are not um, the topic for this discussion. Uh, so this is the mnemonic we use to remember the parameters of the bishop score. Uh, the order of these parameters represents the importance of each of the parameters in the uh, prediction of the success of induction of labor, with dilatation being the most important parameter and position being the least uh, important. So we remember that this is like the original uh, bishop score um, with um, dilatation, effacement, station, consistency of the cervix and position of the cervix as the parameters that represent our uh, bishop score and mnemonic. We see that effacement is in percentages, uh, which is like percent effacement and um, we also uh, remember that when we say bishop score is favorable, what we mean is that if labor was induced, the success is very similar to if labor had started. Um, and finally, we look at um, uh, the modified bishop score where the only modification is um, that effacement or percent effacement has been replaced by cervical length. Um, evidence is there that um, uh, using cervical length uh, as a measure of effacement is much, much better because the inter-observer reliability is much more. Two people measuring this parameter using length are more likely to agree with each other than um, uh, people are using uh, percent effacement. So it's reasonable to use um, cervical length as a measure of um, effacement in this case. What I wanted to show today is that um, when you look at dilatation, uh, that's the D, and effacement as the E, the numbers on these parameters are exactly the same, only that they are running in different directions. So you don't have to remember much. So you say closed, you give a, when the cervix is closed, you give a score of zero. When the cervix is uh, one to two centimeters, you give a score of one. When it's three to four centimeters, you give a score of two. When it's above four centimeters, which is five and above, you give a score of three because that's good. Then when you go uh, to effacement, it's the same. When um, you have a, when you have zero, you measure the length of the cervix and you find that it's zero, which means that it's completely effaced. That is good. So you give a score of. Um, three when the cervix is one to two centimeters now the cervix is lengthening so that the score is becoming worse that is two when the cervix is um uh three uh to four centimeters in length you give a score of one when the cervix is um uh greater than four centimeters in length that is bad uh, so you give a score of zero then you come to station station you just come down you start from three which is minus three minus two um minus one and um, the last one there is uh, one and two, which is plus one and plus two, which is, um, if you add one and two is three, of course. So you give a score of uh, three for that. Cervical consistency is also um, uh, easy because you only have three parameters, but you always start from zero for all the parameters. So firm or hard is like the uh, your forehead. So here, firm and hard is bad. Then medium is medium, it's one. Then if something is soft, um, you give it two. You give it two for soft. Soft is good in this case because um, it means that the cervix will dilate easily. Uh, then finally, you have position of the cervix. You want the position of the cervix to point uh, towards you. So that's anterior. Um, if it's uh, a bit away, it's not pointing directly towards you, that's not very good. If it's posterior, meaning pointing away uh, from the examiner, 
uh, and it's hard to find then that's um, a posterior cervix and that is bad so um, that's simply how to um, get your bishop score so you add and find those figures above seven is uh, good uh, below um, uh, seven is a poor bishop score so you might need cervical ripening agents below three means that you might not be successful inducing that labor so this is what uh, thank you so much for listening and see you in the next video you can attempt uh, this question again um, using this um, uh, modified bishop score